projects that namely the construction industry can start to return as long as it is safe on each site. It can be residential or commercial, but has to be low risk physical activity with safety training for all employees, safety equipment for all employees. And he said a site supervisor on each site for every single job. He says this benefits workers and people who need housing. He said, I can't repeat enough. If we push that green button too soon, i.e. just open everything up all at once, quote, a lot more people are going to die. So Governor Inslee, you just saw it here on King 5 and on King5.com, the big announcement. Construction can begin once again throughout Washington State. Again, residential or commercial, as long as it can be done safely. It has to be low risk. You can't have 70 employees on one site, you know, the size of a quarter of a football field. You have to have proper social distancing, and they will have people on site making sure that all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. And today, I'm glad to say that we have reached the first step of that plan. We have found a way to safely allow low-risk construction that is underway to resume. Major announcement by the governor. We'll have more on this throughout the hour. Meantime, the FDA is issuing a warning about chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine to treat COVID-19. They say very specifically, do not take these drugs outside of a hospital or formal clinical trial. The agency says there have been reports of serious poisoning. We know at least one person has died from taking that drug after President Trump trumpeted it as a potential miracle cure. If you are taking these drugs to treat malaria or autoimmune conditions, you should continue to do it as prescribed, officials say. And both drugs are being tested as possible treatments for the virus. But by medical officials, they say don't do that at home. The manufacturer of Lysol issuing a warning after President Trump's statement about disinfectants yesterday. The company says it's been asked whether Lysol can be ingested as a treatment for coronavirus. Their response, quote, under no circumstances should our disinfectant products be administered into the human body through injection, ingestion, or any other route. President Trump suggested that scientists investigate injecting disinfectants inside people as a cure for the coronavirus. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that the coronavirus will likely push back Boeing's efforts to get the 737 MAX back in the air. As Boeing works to address two systems on the aircraft, the federal regulators who have to sign off on those fixes have been slowed by the stay-at-home orders. That means Boeing, which was hoping for a mid-summer return to service, looking more like the end of the year. Their CEO, David Calhoun, is expected to address all these challenges and the setbacks at next week's shareholders' meeting.